Since the release of Notion AI, the second brain methodology in Notion has changed. Before, the code process, the capture, organize, distill, and express process, was mostly a manual process of going out on the web, getting information, keeping it somewhere in your second brain, probably the projects folder that it's relevant to, then organizing all of that into the power framework. So into your projects, your areas, your resources, or your archive. Once you've organized it all, you then needed to manually spend time distilling it into bite-sized nuggets that you could reuse as Lego bricks in different parts of your deliverables that you're going to express, like essays, blogs, research papers, PowerPoint presentations, reports, whatever it was that you needed to express from your second brain. But with AI, that's all changing. And in this video, I want to show you how to use Notion AI in a very basic way, just so you see how that code process has changed. You'll still be using a second brain, and your second brain will all be in Notion. You'll just be using Notion's new AI features to be able to distill and express more easily. The first thing to note is that now the capture process doesn't really strictly depend on where you put the thing that you want to capture. So long as it's kind of in the second brain somewhere, that's great. I still recommend putting it inside your projects. So if you go onto the web and use the Notion Web Clipper, let's say you wanted to have a project where you're going to renovate your house. I'd still recommend going to use the Web Clipper and then putting that into the project of house renovations in your second brain, just so it's in the context of that page. But once you've captured it and it's in your second brain somewhere, it's really easily retrievable by Notion AI. If you want to speak to a very specific page, you can use the at symbol, and then type in the name of the page, such as, let's use a page that I'm working on called learning ecosystems. And so this is a very like specific term that only I really talk about. And in my second brain, there's lots of mentions of learning ecosystem. So let's use this glossary here. And I can speak to this page and say, what is a learning ecosystem? Explain it to me like I'm a high schooler. And so now you can see I've gone straight from capturing, organizing it ever so slightly. And now I'm distilling the information using Notion AI to make this very condensed summary of what a learning ecosystem is. As you can see here, it says, all right, the learning ecosystem is like a big interconnected web of people, places, and tools all working together to help you learn. Imagine it as a super advanced version of your school, but it's not limited to just one building or classroom. So you can see here, I'm doing the whole capture, organize, distill process very quickly and with minimal headache of putting it in the right folder, in the right database, just so long as it's in Notion, I can start to distill that information really quickly. Now let's look at expressing information. Let's say, okay, that's great. Now create a uh, 500 word article about learning ecosystems and write it in a friendly tone of voice, like a friend giving you good advice. And you can see Notion AI is then going to stop and think for a little bit. It might look across my whole second brain and look at the pages that are relevant for it to go and bring into that essay. Cool. As you can see, it's going and writing this essay. It's talking a little bit about learning ecosystems, but you get the idea. It's essentially speeding up this whole code process of capturing, organizing, distilling, and expressing. I can just tell it which different mode it should be expressing in, and I can tell it to draft different formats. Let's have a look here in the create a new chat. I can actually set, tell it to draft an outline for something, an email, a meeting agenda, I can say draft anything, a um, PowerPoint presentation about learning ecosystems. And I'm basically just generating different types of deliverables using this one chat widget in the bottom right of Notion, which is incredible. Look at it going to all the different sources in my second brain and using that information to create these different slides. That's incredible. So that's just a very quick introduction to how Notion AI is changing the second brain methodology. In the future videos, I'm gonna be talking a little bit more about how you can actually get the most out of Notion AI features and how to use this to speed up the whole code process. If you're using my previous second brain template, 
My major tip is basically capture information into projects, make sure that they're in the context of the project that you're working on. And then once you upgrade to use Notion AI, which is a paid feature, just speak to it. This is the quickest way to turn your ideas and information into reality. And I hope this helped.